Well, hello everybody. This here is a cartoon character called Perry the Platypus. I got the idea from this one from Holly from her Tutorial Tuesdays. A uh, great, great uh, type thing. You should definitely be subscribing to Holly. Uh, she did a what we'll call a regular platypus and I thought, hey, I've had quite a few requests for Perry the Platypus. He's a cartoon character. He's either on Disney or he's on uh, YTV or whatever, I'll admit, I don't know, but this is a, a balloon version of Platypus, uh, Perry the Platypus. It's good enough that um, my wife recognized who it was right away. So, for me, that's fabulous. Uh, we've got uh, teal, then I used goldenrod, then I used scraps of white for the eyes, then I used... Perry always has a top hat or a, you know, a fedora type thing on. So I've made a, a simple hat, nothing too complicated. If you don't want to put the hat on, I'm sure that's fine. And then I used a, uh, a yellow balloon for the tail. You could probably use blush or, or any brown even, I guess. But since I used brown for the hat, I didn't want to use brown for the tail. Um, this uses, uh, let's see, it was one, two, three, four, five, six balloons. So I'm going to try to put it together and hopefully you will be able to follow along. Okay, so once again we'll, we'll put that down. Now I'm going to start with the teal. I don't know why, but Perry tends to be teal. So we're going to use teal. Now we'll blow this one up most of the way. I'm going to use about, uh, you know, leave four fingers, but even that you could put a bit more in. Uh, if you want it smaller, use less. Okay, so we're going to do uh, the three bubble roll through. For the head, we'll do one bubble, two bubbles, and three bubbles. Now, actually, I, I, you can't quite see it, but I have a, a bubble up there that holds the hat on. So we'll do a bit, uh, about a, a one-inch bubble. Now, the hat will be tied to that eventually. Now, I'm just going to go, you know, a little bit soft there. And this is, so we've got, we currently have three bubbles. Uh, this will be the head right here, and this other one will hold the hat on. We'll wrap that around, and then we're going to slightly soften it again, and, and do our three bubble roll through. Okay. We'll get another one. What the heck? In fact, this one I'll, I'll do just a little different. That way you don't explode it like I did. I'm going to do the beak first, okay? So, we're going to do about a uh, four finger, five finger bubble, and, and this will be the, the cheeks, okay? So there are the cheeks right there. Hopefully that'll prevent me from exploding it. Okay. So there are the cheeks right here. Now I'm using uh, yellow here. I you know use ye yellow or goldenrod wherever you like. Okay. Then we'll do a good, uh, a very good uh, fold. But that's uh, about 12, uh, 10, 12 inches. Okay. Wrap that around. There. Now we're going to try the body again. put the beak down. So once again we're going to do our three bubble roll through. There's one, two, and this I am going to tie this part into the beak. Okay. Now that is back to our head. Squeezing down again and into the beak wherever it works is fabulous. Okay. So now I don't need this part anymore. Pull it off. If you think you want the tail out of this color, well then save it and that will become the tail. Okay, so here we are. Now we're going to do a longer three, uh, three section roll through. So basically whatever you have here, give it a, a bit of a squeeze and kind of figure out where your thirds are. I'm going to guess it's about here. Then we're going to go back up to the beak one more time. Wrapping around. Right there, I, I could have made that just about an inch bigger, I guess. Okay. Now, I am going to put a pinch twist here. That is how we will tie the, the, the feet on to parry the platypus. I'm going to put that down. I guess, hopefully, you can see where I'm going here. Okay. Um, let's grab what, what will be the feet. There. Now, 
I'll admit I'm guessing maybe I need a bit more air, but we'll, we'll work on that, okay? This would be the, the heel, then we're doing basically duck feet, like a triangle, okay? Yes. That's what we've got. Oh, I'm making different feet now. But anyway, if that's how you want your feet, either way is fine. I'm going to twist this underneath. There. Then little feet of about uh, three fingers. I did four, but you can do three. Okay. Tie this on in, into the pink twist. Then we'll do our other leg. We will do our triangle feet, or obviously like I did the first time, just regular feet. Twist for a pinch twist. Give it a bit of a tug, seeks it in. Pull that apart. We shouldn't need that anymore. And um, sometimes I find that extra bit of balloon, wrap it in the feet, or take your pinch twist and wrap that in the feet like through. And that, that makes sure it stays in place. Um, I will do the, the eyes. Uh, oh, that big. We're going to have to make it big enough so it sticks through both sides of the head of Perry. Now we can use our scissors or we can pull it apart with our fingers. I cracked my fingernail the other day. No big deal. It'll be ready for, the, you know, for later in a few days. All right. There are the eyes and they will be pushed through whichever bubble you think is best. So right through there. So that is the front of Perry's head. Of course, we'll put the marker on there. You know, we've got our Sharpie and we'll color that on. Um, now I will put the arms on Perry. This is the balloon that I exploded doing the original at the beginning of the body. Just a little noisy blowing that one up. We'll tie it. Oh, try it again. There we go. Okay. So, we'll just little basic, basic hands. A couple of pinch twists. Squeeze down. That would be a, an arm. Goes underneath the, uh, the beak. So, they will come through the front. And line up your arms as best as you can. If you didn't put enough air in it, pull the end off. Put some more air in it, tie it. And, you know, your thumb, your hand, twisting. And then pulling that apart. Okay? There we go. As I said, the, the yellow, which was the feet, I will make that into the tail. If you want to use a different color, use a different color. Okay? I guess if you really want, you could blow this balloon up more and make the feet and the tail at the same time. So, but that's for you to decide. Tie this around the pinch twist. Just adjusting everything there. Okay. There is Perry's feet. There's the tail. I guess if you wanted to put the feet down, you could uh, keep playing with the pinch twist until it was in the right spot and the feet would go straight down. And I'll, I'll let you worry about that part. Okay. Now let's do the hat. As I say, for some reason Perry has a fedora type hat. We're going to blow up the balloon, the brown, he tends to wear a brown one. We've got about four fingers. Now I will do a, a three fingers. Okay, just like, like here, we've got, it's kind of hidden in there, yet you can't see it so well, but hopefully when I do this you will see it. We've got our three fingers around this pink, this, the very beginning of our balloon. Now we'll do three more fingers, and then I'm going to use a pinch twist, and then we're going to go around the hat. So I'm going to soften that, and 
They're right big enough to go around and I'll do a pinch twist and we'll tie the beginning of our brown to the pinch twist that we have just made. And we'll go around the back of the, the, the hat. This does get a little floppy here, okay? So try to do it better when you're doing it. Wrap it, sorry, wrapping around this uh, pinch twist. I'm going to squeeze that down just so you can kind of see where we're going. Now I've made this one bigger than this one, but like I say, you do it better, okay? Now we're going to do the, the top of the hat. So we'll twist here and there, and we're going to go down one time. That uh, will make a square. And now the, uh, what I did on this balloon here is I took a different or the end part of my brown and I made basic dog legs, okay? So you can make dog legs and put them in here or if you want, you can, I've got too much air in this so I'm going to let some air out of it, well that much. And I'm going to just fold it over top. There. Now it doesn't make it look as full, but I guess if you make this smaller, it, it'll do fairly well that way. Just like say pull everything down. And if you think that your hat needs to be spun the other way, then spin it that way and, and hide the, the, the top of the hat. Anyway, put your marker on there, modify Perry as much as you think you need to, but definitely give Holly a great big thanks for this one, okay? I wouldn't have done it without Holly, so thank you very much.